brought to you by Brand South Africa. There's huge excitement here. I was just down at the African Union and we have business leaders from all over the world meeting with African governments, African businesses about the potential here. We've seen seven of the world's fastest growing economies here in Africa. So we think it's a tremendous opportunity, a tremendous time for Africa to take the lead of its own destiny. And we're seeing that happen across the government, academic, and business fields here at the Forum. I like the stats, and you speak of seven of the ten fastest growing economies in the world being in Africa. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about the factors that are propelling that growth. Mm -hmm. What are they, and how sustainable mm -hmm. are they? Well, certainly it's in the area of natural resources. We see that. But what we're seeing here is talk about what do win-win investments look like? Investments that not only help the world grow, but also give opportunity to African uh, farmers, African citizens, and the tremendous talent of youth we have here. So we're seeing companies talking about the added value chain. We know that 80% of the population in Africa are farmers, but what about the food production that happens after the farming? What about getting those farming rates up so people can make a decent standard of living? So what we're seeing is not only talk about how to look at responsible mineral investment and natural resource investment, but also the value chain of uh, production and technology here in China. Yeah. I mean, so here in Africa. In Africa. <laughs> yes. We're not talking about China, we're talking about Africa. now. Of course, we know that when it comes to investing in Africa, mm. people talk about challenges, people talk about mm. political instability being one of the things that drive away investors. Mm -hmm. From where you sit and from some of the sessions that you're crafting around this, mm -hmm. what sort of issues will you be tackling? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll be looking particularly at the roadblocks to increase investment. So we have now a situation where foreign investment and direct investment in Africa's businesses, private investment, exceeds aid. This is a tipping point for the continent. This is where Africa is saying, we want to grow our own economies. So we are looking at sessions that look at trade, inter-Africa trade, inter-trade between Africa and the world, and how to address the roadblocks such as infrastructure and trade finance. And then we're looking particularly at the roadblocks to private investment. Yeah. And how do you look at best practices in investment so that we see economies grow, local communities in Africa, along with the investments that come with them. Yeah. How much buy-in are you getting from the politicians? Because one of the big criticisms around Africa's politicians mm -hmm. is that they do not support business initiative. And you mm -hmm. often find uh, blockages and uh, you know, all kinds of hindrances put in place for business people. Well, tomorrow we have a meeting called Grow Africa. And this is Africa led by African heads of state, like President Kukwete of Tanzania. Uh, we will have three heads of state there and many ministers really in a dialogue about how to increase positive investment in Africa, how to remove the roadblocks. So what we're seeing is at the ministerial level and the leaders level, tackling those nitty gritty problems that businesses face when they're trying to start or invest uh, here in Africa or anywhere in the world. Sure. But it takes that kind of involvement and commitment. So tomorrow is a working session. And we had 150 people registered. There are now 250 people coming. And we've had to turn 100 away because so this many see. This is for see, the Grow Initiative. This is for the Grow Africa Initiative that's part of the overall summit. But we're seeing a demand and an excitement about this because of the high level involvement and commitment. What about people from outside? Because we often speak about, you know, uh, Africa's business leaders themselves leading the charge here, but from a foreigner's perspective, do they see the same change and do they, do they have the same level of excitement as I have, for instance? Uh, actually, we're seeing about half of the attendees at the forum meeting here in Africa are from around the world. Uh, from all over the world. And these are not only government leaders, but these are business leaders, and about half from throughout Africa. And through many, many countries in Africa coming together here uh, at the World Economic Forum to look at opportunities. So we're seeing the world coming to Africa and Africa coming to the world in a way that I haven't quite seen yet.